hey guys welcome back to my channel so you know i did a sephora haul and i wanted to play around in some of the products that i purchased of course not the skincare one like not the the salicylic acid that I'm putting under my armpits. Not yet. We're not going to do that one. But like all the little makeup goodies that I bought. I just want to like dig into it. Now this is like my third time shooting this video. I don't know why. But let's get into it. So my face has been moisturized. I already did my eyebrows. Um, just because. I mean I could do it on it. But I have a video coming up on how I achieved these eyebrows. So you guys stay tuned for that. Um, so you know. One of the products I purchased. Was this. Um, Flawless Primer. From um, Charlotte Tilbury. And so I wanted to try it out. And I finally found. How, how to squeeze it out. There you go. <laughs> that might be a lot. And we're going to apply this to the face. It really kind of reminds me of a moisturizer and it doesn't, you know. Okay. It's like a moisturizer. Yep, yep. Okay. All right. That's moisturizing. You know, perfect for the dry weather. This would be perfect, perfect, perfect for like the cold spring weather and for fall and winter perfect I even could look how it moisturize my hands look at that perfect so I'm going to use my favorite eye primer this is from Juvia's Place in the shade number two you know she has shades one two and three and I'm just going to go over my eyes with a little dab of it and then I'm just going to Go in with a brush to disperse that evenly over my lid. Oops, I mean it got all over my lid, including under my lid. That's interesting. <laughs> Ooh. That's fine. Might as well bring it underneath here too. Okay. Like my I actually really like this primer. To be quite honest, because my under eye don't feel dry. Let's try this. I so you know I was contemplating on returning this, but I decided to keep it to in part. I just never did end up back at Sephora. I was saving the pockets because I know if I end up back there, I might just buy something else I don't really need. So I kept this, and you guys. You see that? That's it, right? So let's see what we could do with it. You know, let's create that nice spring vibes with right. So my big fluffy brush. Okay, we're gonna try this nice, I don't know what shade is that. Doesn't it look mauve? Let's try that mauve shade. Let's do a basic spring look. Does it do anything for my eyes? Let's see. Okay. I mean, if I went in with shade one as a primer, it probably would have stood out a little more on the eye. But okay a basic mauve look which i live for for spring okay no 
feel bad. What y'all think? Not bad at all. Okay? Not bad at all. Let's just find that all out and about. I love to like just do, just get it to be nice and even. Okay. All right, all right, okay. I see you, I see you, and I feel you. Okay. Now, we said we're going for the basic. Um, which one of these? Because, I mean, for a basic eye look, I would just go with a lighter shade in the middle. Mm, maybe I'll take a clean brush. I don't know if that exists in this area, but I guess we'll see. Mm, let us try... Let's go in with this, because... Let me say, like, basic spring. This is, like, basic. Okay. Does that lighten up the eye? The goal is to brighten up the corners of my eye. Okay. Okay. Giving you all shades of... Okay. So, again, that's that tan color. Now, I'm not reading the product. People still rate, like, the actual product, like, how well it applies. Because, <laughs> chill. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. When I say a basic, everyday spring look, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, I love mauve. I really do love mauve for spring. Um, and the thing is, I wonder if this can apply darker. Let's see. You know, I'm just applying back the color that probably got mishap with with the lighter shade, the taupe shade. So I want to keep it. I'm sorry guys, just a little blurring. Hmm. I actually really, really like that. I really, really like that. I don't know about y'all, but I like to play around with um, my makeup. Like, I'm not going anywhere. Literally. Okay, y'all remember I picked up this Sephora um, gel pencil. Um, and it was that like purple, yeah, that purple kind of color. I'm wondering if I can use this on my lid as a liner. Let's see.
this was not in the Sephora haul, but I did purchase this from Sephora, from Ulta, using some points that I had. And this is the Hella Thick Mascara from Fenty. Guys, when I say I really love this mascara, she is in close competition with my Better Than Sex mascara. That is my favorite. So, I'm gonna go in, look at that. Y'all see that? One swipe. One swipe. Y'all saw that, right? One swipe. Look at that. Hmm. And I did not even go back and dip nothing. Look at all that fine hair in the corner. Y'all saw it, right? <laughs> Y'all saw what I just did. I did not go in and dip again. Okay. I still didn't dip again. Look. That's how that pull that hair out. Oh. To be honest, if you have this, you really don't need no lashes. You don't need no lashes. If you need your lashes to take a break from the glue, you know, you know, you sometimes you just need the lashes to catch itself. Listen, this is your alternative. This is your alternative. Look here. I have not dipped this brush back into here. And I am still going, still going, still going. Okay, this is it. You finna need to go buy it, go buy it. It's called Hella Thick and you're gonna love it. Don't All right, worry. anyhow, so I'm gonna go underneath my eyes with this Elf Brightening, um, well, this is a color corrector concealer in the camo collection or come yeah the camo collection of the elf skin line i like to just go in because you can see underneath my eyes it's kind of dark i, I really don't believe it's the mascara because <laughs> i've been killing that mascara guys right underneath there and I am going to take my beauty blender and I'm just going to, you know, tap that on in there. See that color correction I I love to do it because especially this shade um, I think this is the perfect shade corrector I've had you know because the one from LA girl is a bit too yellow if you ask me this one kind of sits right in there on my skin color if you could see mm-hmm Right there on my skin color. See that? Right there. And now maybe I should just color correct right here as well since we color correcting. Okay. 
pretty much just put it all over my skin. All right. And then I'm going to go with my Rare Beauty Brightener. I absolutely love this brightener, guys. I love this brightener. I actually, I love this brightener. I love to put it right underneath my eyes. It helps to keep my under eye moisturized. Like, this is something I would repurchase. And then we're going to go in with the Born This Way multi Scope Concealer. Now this is completely bright. You guys can see that, right? It's really, really bright for my under eye. And it's okay because I have that Rare Beauty underneath there and that orange underneath there. Now, I know everybody have this thing where they put lighter hair, darker hair, and maybe it do work. I mean, I have done it, and I will do it in Seattle. Know if it really made a difference for me. I really don't know. So. Oh my god. The silence is scary. Okay. Look how pretty that looks. You see that? That's my combo. That's that's the combo I've been putting underneath my eye. That right there. Okay, I don't like that they have product on my nose. Y'all, I don't know about y'all. I don't like to have product on my nose. I don't know why. I am going to play with another purchase from the Sephora VIB sale. And that is the Matte Beauty Blush or Pillow Talk from the brand Charlotte Tilbury. Alright. And... You can see I've used it. I actually really, really, really love this. You have to turn it on to open it. You see on and off, and then you do it, turn it left to close it, right to open it. Took me a while to figure that out. <laughs> you know, it did, but I love the idea. And then let's just put that there. I think I did too much. Just close it out. This color is so pretty. This is a beautiful color. A stippling brush. This is a foundation brush, but I'm using it for the blush right now. And I'm going to just rub that in there. Just give me that blush look all the way over. It's okay. Is that pretty that is, guys? I know because I've been wearing it, okay? And it has a little sheen to it. That's, that's nice. Okay. <gasps> oh, now that's a lot of product. Just going to contour my nose. With, of course, this matchstick from Fenty. This is not a new buy. Guys, and that's the Charlotte Tilbury um, Beautiful Skin Foundation. Oh man, this thing makes your skin look so flawless. Just need a few pumps, not a whole lot. On your cash of course. And 
look at that beautiful blush just blow it blushing through y'all see that y'all see it right almost too blush hold on, hold on. Oh, what did I do You know, I have a five head, okay? That's the wrap. Y'all saw so hide most of it. I don't have a four head, I have a five head. Let's really get that there. Okay. There you go. Y'all see the blush still blushing true? Ooh. She's still blushing true. That's so pretty. Oh, I love this foundation. What's that on my ears? I absolutely love this foundation. Okay. I absolutely love it. I love it. Okay. Let's just go ahead and set that again. And while that's set, I'm going to go in with that same beautiful mauve color. And I'm going to take a blending brush. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you see? Nice blending brush. And go underneath my lid. See how pretty that is? Just and I find in doing this, it kind of camouflage your smile when you smile, all that. I don't know why people have a problem with the little creases in their smile. Child, I don't know. I don't really have a problem with it, but. It helps the camera flash it a bit if it bothers you. All right. In the meantime, in the meantime, I'm going to go on my lashes, of course, with uh, I almost thought I couldn't find it. What happened, Gingy? What's wrong? Gotta clean it off because it's a lot of product. This brush picks up so much product. And let's just do our eyelashes. This, um, I want to stick to the Charlotte Tilbury line that I have. I have two of her flawless um, finish airbrush powder, and this is in the color I think deep font, and then is in the tan dope. So you know the tan dope is going underneath my eyes. <clears throat> 
sorry my voice just lost me and I'm going to use my brush Flawless foundation, and I'm going to put it all over my face. You can see I, um, I hit pan on it, and there goes that blush still blushing through. That's amazing! That's so amazing. That is so beautiful. I don't even need to put blush on because it's still blushing. <laughs> That's nice. That's really nice. All right. I guess I guess we could literally kind of finish it from here. You know, I can just put a little contouring. I guess. Yep. Juvia's place. Contouring. Like okay. Yes, yes, yes. We're gonna go in with this shade. Just give me. This lip combo. This lip combo is it. Now, I had my lip combo with the Riri and the brown, and that is a beautiful combo. And like I say on my TikTok and on my inst on my shots, a lot of people raving about MVP. I think the red one is called in the chocolate. I do have them in my collection, but I'm ready to use them yet because it's spring. I love bright, beautiful colors. I love light colors for spring. So let us get started. Of course, that beautiful brown chocolate pencil. Actually, it's like a mocha, if you ask me. Um, from Sephora, this. Let me let y'all see. This shade. You see? Okay, it's trying to find my face. It's like this pinkish um, brown color. I don't know. It's that. I'm going to go in on my lips. Let's like get closer so you can see. I'm gonna go closer. Let's go on my lips. Hmm. My lip is peeling. I'm not sure why it is doing that. I don't know why it's doing that. Hmm. Y'all saw that? 
Y'all saw that, right? I just went and put in some Vaseline in the middle, in, in the center where my lip is cracked. But y'all saw that. Listen, y'all, I do have like some little deviation in my lips. Like right here is a little smaller than this side. I don't know why, okay? That's how God made me. I think this tea is a little out, so it kind of make this lip, side of my lip poke out a bit more. Um... So to kind of feel that, like kind of overlying my lips. I don't know if it really works, but you get it. Like I could literally just go like this. This com lip liner right here is like the perfect lip right here. But I just smudge that all over my lips, yeah? All over. But now, now. We got to get the um, Sea Sweetheart. The Sea Sweetheart? Oh, okay. I didn't think this would have worked. Like, I saw it. It's a pretty, pretty... Oh, light. Come back. It's a pretty, pretty um, pink color. And you also, when I swatched it in a previous video. So I was like, ooh, it's a nice combo. Oh, focus. But wait till you see it on the lips. That is the outer lining. Shut the front door. Shut the front door. You don't even need a lot. Now she going to overpower my brown. I don't want it to overpower. I mean, it can. Like it really can, and it will work. But hold on. I don't see I need to go find go back to Sephora and get Y'all see that? See sweetheart with this lip liner in brown from Sephora. It is so, so gorgeous, okay? It is so gorgeous. Let's put on our Bottega dupes. Yes, guys. Again, this is the finished look using all the products, again, that I purchased from the VIB sale. Not all, but most of it. And like I say, one of my favorite, this Invisible um, Flawless Primer. I actually really like it. Like I say, it's really good for dry skin. It feels like a moisturizer. And I really think it helps to make the skin look flawless. On top of that, I use pretty much the whole line of Charlotte Tilbury. So I don't know if I'm being biased. And oh, this. It just gives you that blush of pink. Look at that. Just a little blush of pink. I don't even have, like, I don't even have to top up with a powder over it. Like, perfect for traveling. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't want to travel with a lot, I love that. I love, love that. Okay. And like I say, my favorite, favorite is the brown pencil from Sephora with the C2 Sweet. What is it? C Sweetheart. The C Sweetheart lip. Um, lipstick from Fenty. So 
love it guys i absolutely love it um so this is it this is the end of the video thank you guys for sitting and watching me and if you like videos like this hit the subscribe button i want to get to 100 subscribers guys i really do i think that will be really a nice milestone for me to reach um and then you know we can start again with another goal to get another 100 and so on and so forth but hit the subscribe button on this channel it's gonna be fun makeup inspiration i might start vlogging i'm thinking about vlogging i actually love decor i actually love that so you guys will get lots and you know, lots and lots and bits of fun stuff if you guys stick with me um I'm more than makeup but I love makeup and love just sitting down and playing with it you know especially I have a modest amount you know what I'm saying um, until next time guys please hit the like button subscribe hit the notification bell so you will be notified until next time I love you guys bye